lesson 58, and this one is on writing quotients as mixed numbers. Now, do you remember what a quotient is? Is the answer to a certain type of problem? Division? Yes, excellent. So you are learning to write quotients, division answers, as mixed numbers. Okay, do you okay. remember what a mixed number is? A They're mixed when number. like a number and a fraction are together. Put together, yeah. Okay, so you've learned this before, but this is part three of it. Okay. Okay, so let's say, and this is, they're kind of using stories to teach you this time today. Okay, okay. so listen to this. We had two children, Isaac and Eli, and they are going to share five cookies equally. Okay. Okay, balanced or whatever. Okay, how many cookies will each of them receive? Four and a half. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, two and a half. Very good. Okay, but let's do it division using, you, you got that answer just right. Good job. But let's do it using division. Okay? So basically, I'm taking five cookies. Okay. And I'm dividing it into how many people? Two. Two people. So I'm taking five and dividing it by two people. Okay. Okay? Two will go into five how many times? Um, uh, what do you mean? Two times what equals five? Oh, okay. Um,. Closest without going over. Okay. One. One. Two times one would be two. I think we can go a little bit higher than that. Three. Two times two would be four. Four. And, and then two I times three would be over. Uh-huh. So I'd say two. Okay. So we do two times two is four. Then we're going to subtract. Remember the dad, mom, sister, brother, and bring yeah. down all that? Okay. So we bring down, we subtract, and get a one. Okay. Do you remember what I told you to do with this number? Instead of saying remainder one, what did we learn to do? Um, do you what to oh, do? yes. We do like one out of two or yeah. something. We bring it up here and put it on the top part of the fraction, and we bring the two over. Okay? Remember that? Uh-huh. Okay. So they're, you're learning stories and this. That's what they're wanting to teach you today. Okay? Yeah. So let's do another story. All right? That's different than this one. Okay? This is going to be something bigger. All right? The say that we had 50 pieces of bubble gum, okay, 50 pieces, and we need to divide them between you, your daddy, and your brother, three people. Okay. So that would be, let's take 50 pieces of bubble gum, whoops, <laughs> and divide it into three people, okay, Eli, Isaac, daddy, okay? So we would keep dividing it, okay? But there's an easier way than just actually taking 50 pieces up here and dividing them out. What's the better way to do that? Uh, 50 divided by 3. Uh-huh. 50 divided by 3. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 50 divided by 3. And this will tell us exactly how many everybody gets. Okay? So, again, let's start with dad, mom, sister, brother. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Let's divide. Can 3, let's start with the very first number. Can 3 go into 5 without going over? Um... Uh... Yes. Okay. Three times one is three. Three, three, three times, times two, two is six. six. So we've got to use one. Right. Okay. So we divide it. One times three is three. We multiplied. Now let's subtract and bring down. Now that's our new number we're working with. How many uh -huh. times will three go into 20? Um, three times five. five is 15. Think we can go higher? Three times. Six, Six is 18. Nine. Three times seven is 21. So we've gone over. Three times Six. Six. Okay. Whoops, I didn't bring that. So now we divided. Now let's multiply. Six times three is 18. Now let's subtract. Now we get two left over. Okay. And is there anything else to bring down? Nope. No, that means we're done. But do we just want to say a remainder two? No, it would be two out of three, or, or like two-thirds. Two two-thirds, yeah. You're exactly right. Okay, so everybody gets 16 pieces of bubble gum, and then you take one of them, or a few of them, and then you're going to break them up into two out of three each time. Okay. Everybody gets 16 and two-thirds. 16 and two-thirds. That would be kind of hard to break up that bubble gum, wouldn't it? <laughs> so basically, you probably would just leave two of the pieces left over and give them to Mom. Or Toby. <laughs> or something like that. Okay, you got it? All right, now, let's do this last one. Let's say I had a 15-inch 
string, 15 inches. Okay, and it was a, uh, what are those, uh, not taffy, oh, we can work with taffy. Let's say we have 15 inches of taffy, and you wanted some, and your brother wanted some, and daddy wanted some, and I wanted some. So okay. four people wanted them. What would I do? 15 divided by four. Very good. Exactly right. Okay. So let's divide. Will four go into one? No. No. But four will go into 15. Yes. What's the closest without going over? Four um, times. Uh, Three is 12. Four times four is 16. Three. So let's do three. Three times four is 12. I get three left over. Okay. What should I do with that three? Should give it three out of four. Yes. Bring it up here and slide the four over. So everybody gets three and three fourths of the um, taffy. taffy taffy. Yep. Everybody gets three inches and then three fourths of an inch. Got it? Yeah. Well, that works. Okay. That is lesson 58.